hey welcome to this video in my last video I showed you how you, people can download your website files source code now in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to protect yourself or protect your code from getting downloaded or getting copied by different or other people you know you have spent a lot of time building this website and uh, people guess copy your website and make a clone of it just make it is a copy of it exact you know it's helpful for us as developers but it's not good for your client you know to have duplicates of the same website so maybe you want to protect your website from getting clone or from people getting your website files so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to protect yourself from these tools something like HT tracker and a lot of tools there are tools we use to download website files so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to protect yourself from this act alright what I want you to do is to actually log into your hosting dashboard go to cPanel okay and when you go to cPanel you go to files manager so okay let's go to files file manager and then let me search for the domain name I'm working with so this is the domain name so you go to your domain name this is the domain name okay so this is where your website files reside this is where your website files live now we want to search for a particular file called HC access so if that file is not here make sure you click on settings and click on show hidden files okay so it's clicked or it's yeah it's clicked but the problem is it's not found in here so what you do is you click on this plus that's new file so you click on that and then you name it hc h t arc says just name it like this but make sure there's dot here dot ht access okay and then create new file now you have that file here on your root make sure you open it so you click on it and then click on edit okay and then edit this file now in the description this of this video you see some code okay you see some code and this is it this contains all the tools people use to download your website so simply what this code or command is telling the server is that in case people want to download your website files using any of these tools it should not allow access okay let's search we'll see ht track see ht track is here so that means it contains a lot of tools different tools used to download website files copy this code so control a and then control C go back to your HT access file paste it here okay once you have that pasted click on save changes wait for it and the changes have been saved you can refresh your website if you want now to prove to you that this actually works let's go ahead and then download the, this website and see what 
we will get so we'll go back to the tool and then let's create another project so we'll click on next and this project we are naming it test 2 okay so test 2 okay test 1 okay you leave the path as it is click on next you put your website URL here click on next next okay all right because the server has the command HT track is not able to download the file so it's given us this error HT track has detected that the current mirror is empty which is not true it's not empty guess that we are protecting we have protected this website from uh, cloning or copying okay so there's no way this tool can work on our website again I hope this is amazing all right if you're happy smash the like I'll be happy all right so I'm actually happy I've done this on my website and my class website that's very good okay so there's no way you people can download your website again because it's not protected all right but always there are always some alternatives but now there are ways people can still use to download your website files but these are the most commonly used uh, methods to protect your source code if you're excited all right subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video